Well, hello again from Kingston. As you can see, the winter weather has not quite departed. But we did have a couple of good days, and there's more to the week besides. So thanks for following the channel. I'll see you later. A little unusually this week, we're going to begin at the end. Because there's a point to be made. What you're seeing is the removal of equipment and materiel no longer required on the project. That means that we are firmly in the territory of the concluding stages. The entire load comprises items no longer required and headed for storage or disposal. You get a pretty good feel as well for the changeable nature of the weather. Another clear sign of progress this week on the east end was the arrival of the lamp bases that will support traffic lights on Gore Road and Highway 15. And the extraordinarily versatile extreme forklift was used once again to unload them. Staff from Black and MacDonald, who will install them, were briefly on site to assist. The keen-eyed amongst you will have noticed that behind the vehicles you've seen already, a concrete pumper was on the east abutment, arriving early on Thursday morning. It was joined mid-morning by a pair of ready-mix trucks from CBM Concrete. Preparations to begin the pour were well advanced when it was discovered that a technical challenge would cause the pour to be postponed once again. These decisions are not easy to make, but they are the right ones. A lot of work had gone into preparing the abutment for the pour, and the Tadano crane had even been moved early in the week to assist in some minor modifications. But she was headed back to work on the main spans by Wednesday evening. Unfortunately, snow continues to feature in our forecasts and that means that often the first thing to do before you can work is to clear it. The great team from Linkline Fence Limited put in another strong performance this week. By week's end, they had all the panels in place and were securing them. The final stage will be to trim and cap the top edge and then fill the gaps between each set of panels. Before we move across the river, remember those traffic light poles? Well, if you can't find the bases, you can't install them. Somebody has to get it done. Steady work continues to prepare the later concrete spans for rebar and later concrete. But the first priority is to install the walkways and brackets that make it safe for the workforce. And the brackets can put up a fight. Work goes on below the spans as well as above. And whatever else is happening, there's a constant effort to install reinforcing rod. Although the concrete base has been laid, some of the unions between girders remain unfinished but there must be a reason for this, which will become clear eventually. And finishing work is occurring already from place to place. See if you can spot the person walking across the Montreal Street Rail Bridge in this extreme example of perspective 
as we move to wildlife. Well, one more week behind us, and before you know it, we'll have a complete bridge, and we may even have spring and summer. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. Bye for now.